I'm going to talk about fears of cancer recurrence. Um, in recent years, there have been a lot of research around um, fears of cancer recurrence that cancer survivors uh, um, experience. They report that this is one of the top five concerns that they have after the end of treatment. Um, it's also one of those um, unmet needs for, for um, their support. Um, one of the things that we know about fears of cancer recurrence is that younger patients are more at risk and those who also have um, a lot of symptom experience, physical symptoms, pain, fatigue, side effects, seem to experience fears of cancer recurrence more. I'm going to overview these things that we know about fears of cancer recurrence, but there are also things that we know less about. For instance, the relationship between fears of cancer recurrence and health behaviours and decision making. We have some evidence that these fears can affect people's behaviours such as changing diet, physical activity, sunscreen use to reduce the risk of cancer. We also have some evidence that suggests that it may be related to health healthcare use such as unscheduled visits to GPs, etc. But we know we don't know much about it as much as we know about the prevalence, etc. Um, the other point that I will make is around interventions, psychological interventions to help cancer patients. Um, there are multiple programs that are being developed both in the UK and across the world in other countries and some of them are quite intensive, designed by psychologists, to be delivered by psychologists or cancer nurses. I will make the point that as much as they are very, very useful, because they are so resource intensive, it may be worth actually looking into other types of interventions, such as um, looking at the interaction between healthcare provider and patients, and whether opening up the topic of worries about cancer recurrence in that context might actually help create an opportunity to dispel some of the myths around recurrence. Another intervention that I will talk about is health behavior interventions. We have some evidence that shows that if we um, design an intervention around increasing physical activity for cancer survivors, that has an impact on not only physical activity, but fears of cancer recurrence. I do some work around designing psychological interventions myself. Uh, we have our own intervention called AFTER, which is a six session um, intervention and we're, we're developing that further. But I'm also excited about um, the possibility that that communication between healthcare provider and patient and how we can improve that, how we can help healthcare providers, oncologists, nurses to address these fears in their very time um, um, limited environment in their clinical context. Can we give them tools to open up this topic and help understand their patients' fears uh, about recurrence. I'm also very, very excited about the opportunity that, that other health behavior interventions present for, for um, decreasing fears of cancer recurrence. So those are the things that I would like to focus in the next few years in my research.